and does, even though you say politics is not your thing, do you feel any responsibility to those kids who adore you and support you, who are being hurt by the policies of this administration? It's a great question. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> that's a good question. <clears throat> I wasn't, uh, I support Donald Trump as a friend, and what he does as president, president, as a president, I can't control that. A lot of people will sit there and say, okay, great, since you're so good friends with him, why, why won't you go and try to talk to him, some knowledge to him about helping people in certain cities? You can control your feelings about it. She's asking you how you feel about it. Oh, I feel okay. I feel, I'm just giving that point. <clears throat> I feel about the, the uh, situation in Detroit. Well, I mean, she's talking about the policies of Trump do not support people who look like you and people who are your fans. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> okay, I get it now. What, what, you, what you're saying, what, what, what I'm getting now, is the fact that, let's get one thing straight. You know, like I said, I'm not here to, you know, go and nice with people back and vice versa, but I'm saying, everyone thinks Donald Trump is racist. Everything, everything, he, everything he's racist as hell. I mean, I, <sighs> I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny how we look with, some people look with, with a blind eye. Um, if, did you see that piece the other day with uh, Kanye West and, you know, yeah. Jim Brown and stuff like that? Yeah. That's amazing. They made some, they made some points right there. They made some good points, right? Okay. And it, it, made, it made some good points in certain situations. In certain situations, it did, but you can say they're out of line. But I don't support Trump when it comes to, okay, great. It's okay for the President of the United States, Donald Trump, to go pay a, a hooker $130,000 and then tell us not to do all this other shit out here, okay? It's okay for him to go sit there, okay, great. Pay it, okay? It's okay. But it's like, and all of a sudden, you got this whole, this whole thing that going on about Donald Trump because Donald Trump have a tendency to say the most crazy shit on the planet. I mean, the most craziest thing on the planet. And we're like, wow, I like that president. He's making us money. The world's economy is coming back. Oh my God. Then all of a sudden, you get questions like, oh shit, what about the communities? What about this city? What about this city? Like, okay, great. He's trying to do everything in the world. He can. But you know, but it's another person that's trying to do the same thing in Detroit. Since I'm going to Detroit, how about I leave here? I'm going to tonight. And the guy that owns the Cleveland Cavaliers, anyone know that guy? The guy right there, he's buying a lot of uh, property in a lot of neighborhoods in, uh, in, uh, in Detroit. Look him up. And you should ask him why he's not doing anything. Why is he not doing anything? He's buying everything in Detroit. He's buying everything. And Donald Trump is not buying things. That guy in Cleveland has bought more stuff in Detroit's neighborhoods, property, and stuff like that. But you don't see that. If you want to put it all in the president, okay, great. And I said, I don't believe, I don't, I don't, I don't um, um. I'm just not sure how you can argue that he's not racist. He's quite clearly racist. No! <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm going to make this a whole thing. Back and forth, thing. Like I said, he's, he's, he's not racist. I mean, he's not. I mean, I don't want to see that in him. I don't want to see it. If I did say it, I mean, if I did see it, I'm not going to say it. If you saw it, you wouldn't say it. Okay, go ahead. 